Now let's take a look at another example of what it takes for stocks to move higher. Now here's an example where a DDD had done very well coming into November, December timeframe of 2012. But the reason why I introduced this stock to subscribers at the time, December, no, uh, November timeframe of 2012, is because the stock was breaking out on a monthly chart above this monthly closing high. So that really made me very interested in its upside potential prospects. So that there was our entry point just at about $28, $29. So here was our entry point. And the reason why I like the stock at the time is because after this massive run and arrest, and another massive run, the stock had consolidated here on a monthly basis. And that fact that it was breaking out here was really powerful in the sense that you see that the RSI was also breaking out or moving about 69.10, which is one of our minimum requirements. And also at the time, see that the MACDs were also at three-year highs, breaking out to three-year highs, and had already broken out to three-year highs on the other MACD time frame, and then there was another fresh crossover there. So on the monthly, everything looked good. This is the reason why I introduced this stock to subscribers at the time. This was the chart when I introduced that stock. If you take a look at the current chart setting, now we're looking at this one, 10 months, 11 months later, you see that the stock has more than doubled. Remember, our entry point was right here during this breakout. So our entry point was in November, late November of 2012 during this breakout there. So the stock has since stayed above our buy point on a monthly closing basis. And as of today, still having a nice run with a more than 100% gain. So our minimum requirements told me this was a good stock to buy and that is why it has done well. So subscribers get those kinds of alerts whenever stocks are breaking out. So let's go back to the video where I talked about DDD as a buy so you can see how I called it at the time. Peace and blessings. This is Eric Mwada with Mwada.com. It is November 26, 2012. Is DDD 3D systems? The reason why I am adding this one, even though it's a technology place, because it's been a very strong mover. Let's take a look at this one from a weekly chart. The weekly chart is not the best looking chart. And the reason why I say it's not the best is because we had tried to break out here this breakout attempt here that failed subsequently and the stock moved lower now there's one way of looking at it as this is a stock that seems to have a lot of sellers around that price the 45 dollar area or you can also consider this as a shakeout okay this move here this red bar was a shakeout and now the stock is attempting to break out again Another way you can look at this is you can also consider this some type of a cup handle and a breakout. Now that's the weekly, not the best looking weekly chart because of this instability here. But notice that this has been a stock that was trading at under $15 January of last of this year and now trading in the 40s. One of the best, absolutely one of the best stocks in 2012. What I like about this one is the monthly chart. And you can see on the monthly, it's a little bit le less of a volatility. As you can see now, this, this seems a very nice constructive price pattern on the monthly chart. And that's one reason why I like to use monthly charts. Sometimes they give you a clearer view of what's going on. Your buy point is this closing high going back, I think, last August. And it is at a price of 43 one of course you'd like the stock to hold above that level I would give this one a price target of the 90s somewhere about 100 uh, which is achievable 2013 if the market stays stable if it moves back below 43.71 you want to get out to protect your capital 
again you see that the mat the rsi on the monthly is doing very well it's exactly where you want it to move and be, move above 69 the last time it did that was here which was was good for this move from about seven and a half to about 27 a big move again and that last time it moved above 69 was in this area here which it moved it from 25 to the 40s so this one can do well you know price target in the 80s in the 90s next year if you can get that kind of a move that's something anybody should be happy to take this profit again you see that our mac deals are breaking up which is precisely what we want this is eric muada with mother.com